everybody i am going to show you how to divide geometric objects into equal intervals basically it can be done by placing point objects or by placing blocks at equal intervals or at a specified intervals along the object so let's take some object as an example say i am taking line say i am drawing line here okay then i will take this line say here one here i am taking another one and here i am taking another line okay now i shall take the arc so arc means here this is one arc here i am taking another arc taking here also another arc now i start from here first line i want to insert points which will divide this line into equal intervals so to divide that let's click on here this divide it says create evenly spaced point objects or blocks along the length or perimeter of an object so let's select this now it says select the objects so we select this line now it says number of segment how many say i want only five segments press enter already it is divided by this this point style so how i got this point style see here utilities if you go this point style you see i have selected this one you can take other one which one you like but i selected this so this is the point style to make the point visible and it is equal at equal intervals we can check it by taking the point say here to here distance is say 248.96 again we can check here also distance is 248.96 now for the second object we will use or we will create points at specified intervals not at equal intervals at specified intervals so what is that go draw and click this next option measure select the object specify length of segment because as it is a specified interval so i must put here the that length say i am taking here 200 press enter see i got it to check it say here I want to see it is 200 already I have taken 200 so all are 200 except the last one it is the remaining how much it is it is nothing but 44.78 same things we can follow here say for this arc same procedure we can follow like i can write here divide means div this command shortcut take this select objects 
number of segments say five press enter got it so i got this at equal intervals now let's look at this how to place the blocks because here i put the point objects here i will divide the line with blocks so how to do that so let's type divide now select object enter the number of segment i am not going to do that because i want to use the block so i have to click here block enter the name of the block say a this block i am not explaining how to make a block because it is in my another video right away i am using it here as a so press enter one important thing is here enter align block with objects there is another way not aligned not aligned means i have to put no align means i have to put yes so if i put y it means it is align the blocks with the selected objects or the this one according to the curvature of the this one according to the curvature of this object but here it is not making any difference so i am putting here align block with the object so i am putting here y enter the number of segments say i need say four or five say five i put here so i got this and it is equally spaced at equal intervals so here you can see how much 248.96 even if i go here it will give the same value 248.96 so at intervals now come here what you can do i want to take it slide down because it looks like very close okay now this one i want to insert block at a specified intervals this was at equal interval this is as a specified interval so what i have to do same procedure i have to follow the measure select the objects and specify length of this say i want this 200 this one but it is wrong i need to select the blocks it is not i want i don't want point actually i want blocks so i will remove this say i am removing this all i will take the okay so i am taking again this measure select object to measure so this one here is specify length of segment i'm not putting this length now because i have to select the block like this one so in a select the name of the blocks it is a it is done now i have to put align block with object yes but now it is asking about specific length of segment say 200 it is done perfect this is 200 because i took a specified length it was 200 i can check it from here to here it is 200 but last one is not 200 last one will be different like this one now this one what i'll do say here 
uh, I want to take shift this down or I am not taking this one say I am taking this out I will do on this so what I am doing here say I want to take the say division div I mean divide not division divide like this select object here I want to show how it comes when I select no so here enter the number of the segment but I am not going I am what I'll do I'll do the blocks enter the name it says a so now here align block with objects it means if I put yes now it will align the blocks with the selected object selected objects means according to the curvature of this arc say i put yes enter the number of segments say four what it shows you see this angle is not zero rotation angle is not zero so it is align the blocks with selected objects or I can say it is according to the curvature of this arc but if I put instead of yes if I put no how it looks that's what I will show it here say here this is R now I will show you say a specified it's not a specified say I am taking equal intervals just I want to show that if I don't put yes what is happening say here I am taking say division again this now no need to select number of segment because I have to select here blocks so enter name of the block say a so we got it see here this is important point now align blocks with objects why yes here i took yes now i am here not taking yes i am putting here no let's see it says enter the number of segment say i am putting four then see here so what is the difference between these two it is with yes it means and here rotational angle zero degree rotational angle here zero degree it is vertical rotational angle is zero here here there is a rotational angle because it is align the blocks with the selected arc it means according to the curvature you see here in this direction it is vertical here in this direction according to the curvature of this arc but this is not following the curvature of the arc it is zero that's why i put here no so we got the difference now i think that's all for this topics how to divide a geometric object into equal intervals or at specified intervals that's all